So what is the truth about Chinese, Japanese, and American guitars? Can you really hear the difference? Are American guitars worth the premium? Do Japanese guitars live up to the hype? And is it time to stop underestimating Chinese guitars? Well, today we're going to be diving into that pretty controversial debate that will probably divide many of the viewers out there today. Uh, we're going to be comparing Chinese, Japanese, and American-made guitars to see if the price tag and the prestige related to each one of them are really justified, or is it just marketing? If you're passionate about guitars like I am, hit that subscribe button because today we're going to be possibly ruffling some feathers. So when it comes to selecting an American-made or Japanese or Chinese-made guitar, let's start with the elephant in the room. That is the price. Now, American-made guitars often come with a hefty price tag, which don't seem to be coming down anytime soon. And there's no denying the prestige that comes with owning brands like Gibson, Fender, or PRS. But here's the controversial part. Are you really getting what you pay for when you choose one of these, or are you just paying for the name? Japanese guitars like those from Ibanez, Tokai, or ESP are often praised for their quality for their precision, their innovation that they put into the guitars, often at a lower price point than their American counterparts. But is lower price synonymous with better value? Or are we just sacrificing something in the process? And then there's China, often discussed as the land of cheap knockoffs, but maybe that perception is outdated. Some of these so-called cheap guitars might actually surprise you. Let's talk quality. Top shelf American guitars like Sir, PRS, Gibson, and others have a reputation for using the best materials and processes available to build their guitars. Premium woods, top-notch hardware, and in some cases, even hand-wound pickups. But are you really getting your money's worth, or are you paying a premium for something that's not as exceptional as it used to be? Japanese guitars often rival or even surpass American guitars in terms of build quality, especially when you look at brands like Ibanez, Tokai, uh, or other companies out there like ESP, for example. They're consistent, they're reliable, and sometimes they build even more innovation into their guitars. Yet, they don't always get the recognition they deserve. Some of the budget models use cheaper components, but the gap is closing fast. Brands like Eastman, for example, Sire, are proving that made in China doesn't have to mean inferior quality anymore. In fact, some of these guitars offer incredible value that puts some more expensive American and Japanese models to shame. Now, craftsmanship is where things get really heated. American guitars are often seen as the gold standard, originally handcrafted with decades of tradition behind them, we see custom shop models that are coveted and, you know, are just top shelf instruments. But let's be honest, does every American guitar live up to that legend? With mass production becoming more common than ever before, not every guitar that rolls out of a factory is a handmade masterpiece. I've played quite a few duds in my time. Now, Japanese, on the other hand, are known for their meticulous craftsmanship. They might not have the same heritage appeal as American guitars, but when it comes to build quality, they're rock solid. And here's where it gets controversial. Some of the higher end Chinese guitars are catching up fast. Yes, you heard it right. Brands like Eastman are delivering handcrafted quality that can rival American guitars at a fraction of the price. So if you think all Chinese guitars are junk, it might be time to Reconsider your opinion on that. Now let's get to the sound. You've probably heard it a million times, American guitars have the tone, but can you actually hear the difference? And when I say the difference, I mean where a guitar is made. Or are we just convincing ourselves that an expensive guitar automatically sounds better? Now I happen to have a couple of very similar guitars lined up, one of which is American, the other Japanese, and the last one Chinese. So I'm gonna play a riff on each one without showing you the guitar that I'm playing and I wanna see if you can really guess where it was made.
All right, time for the reveal. Which one was American, which was Japanese, and which was Chinese? Let's break it down. So were you able to pick out your favorite? Was your favorite the American-made guitar? Or maybe it was the Chinese guitar? If you couldn't tell the difference, don't sweat it because you're not alone. I mean, a lot of people have trouble even identifying what type of guitar they're listening to. Is it a Telecaster, a Stratocaster, or a Les Paul, for example? Never mind being able to tell you where that guitar was made. So really, if you had a preference, it's probably because you felt it sounded better. That doesn't necessarily make it the most expensive or the best guitar in the lineup. That $3,000 American guitar might sound fantastic, but is it really three times better than a $1,000 Japanese or an $800 Chinese guitar? Or are we just paying for the story behind it? So guys, where does all this leave us? In today's gear market, quality and value don't always align with price or prestige. Sure, American guitars come with a rich history and often impeccable craftsmanship, but they also come with a premium price tag. Japanese guitars are a strong contender for the best bang for your buck, offering top tier quality without the markup. And Chinese guitars, well, they're not all created equal but the best of them are delivering incredible value that challenges the traditional hierarchy. The bottom line, don't let the country of origin be the only thing guiding your decision. Focus on what matters, the sound, the feel, and the overall quality of the instrument. You might find the inferior Chinese guitar is exactly what you've been looking for, or that a Japanese guitar gives you everything an American one does for less. Thanks for watching and I hope this video challenged some of your preconceptions. Whether you agree or disagree with me, let's keep the conversations going in the comments. If you could hear the difference and you think the price difference is justified, I want to know. Don't forget to subscribe for more gear talk and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep questioning, keep playing and most importantly, keep rocking.